So I am using some scrap fabric here and I created a seam in the middle because I want to demonstrate how I like to line up the seams when I am inserting an invisible zipper. What I've gone ahead and done is turned my zipper to the wrong side and I pressed it open. I'm just using this to demonstrate what I did. I just pressed down on each side of the zipper tape along the coils just to kind of press them open slightly. Then what I like to do is make sure everything is pressed open, all the seams are pressed open, and I like to clean up the raw edge with a serger. And you can use a zigzag stitch if you don't have a serger, but you want your zigzag to come over approximately a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna go and just clean up this edge and then also this edge. These two edges. I'm not cutting anything off. I have locked the blade to cut. This is approximately a quarter inch from the edge. Now what I like to do is take some washi tape. This is also a quarter inch in width. And I like to use the serger threads as my guide. And I line up the washi tape along the line of the serger thread. And you can stop where your zipper is going to stop, which I need to check. I'm just gonna zip this up for the moment and just check to see how long this is gonna be. So this is the end of the zipper tape here, the stop right there. So I can bring the tape down to about there. And I'll do the same thing for this side. Ultimately, what you're doing is you're placing your tape about one half inch from the edge of the fabric. So from the edge to the tape is about one half inch from there to there because it's a quarter inch here and then a quarter inch there. I like to work on one side at a time. So this is the proper correct side of the garment that will show on the outside. And what I like to do is unzip my zipper and I will take the right side of the zipper as opposed to the left side. The zipper is face down and I'm going to take the right side and place it on the fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up and the right side of the zipper is facing down. Then I'm going to remove the sticky tape Place the zipper tape at the top. Your directions will tell you where to place your stop. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll put it right here. And then you're just going to press the tape, zipper tape down to your sticky tape underneath. Press it all the way down as far as you can go. Make sure you're zipper pull is not in the way and that will hold it in place then you go over to your sewing machine now I like to use a regular zipper foot I also like to move my needle over just a little bit so that it can get closer to the zipper tape and the little seam that's inside. So I want to make sure that the zipper is 
hitting inside of that little groove. So I like to push the tape out of the way, push it open, and then start sewing down. Just sew all the way down. And I just like to sew down as far as I can go and then back stitch. Then what I like to do is close the zipper. The backing from the wash away tape on the other side. So you want these seams to match. So what I like to do is fold the edge in and I'm going to line everything up because now I can see where everything should go. So I will place the sticky tape onto the zipper and I'll make sure that the seams are lining up and then I will press everything down with my finger, just finger press it down. the sticky tape down to the tape, to the zipper tape. So you get a chance to see that everything is lining up. The tops are lined up pretty nicely, but the main thing is these seams are lining up. So once everything is lined up and pressed with your finger really well. Then you want to carefully unzip the zipper. Now keep in mind, this is just temporarily being held on the right side so it can easily pull apart if you're not careful. So I like to just hold the side that's attached and pull the zipper down. So you just want to make sure that this doesn't come apart because you've already placed it where it's supposed to go. Then you want to turn everything over, turn your garment over. And the side that is not yet sewn down, you just want to make sure that the zipper tape is not crooked like this. You just want to kind of straighten it out a little bit up here. Make sure it's nice and even along that edge because remember we lined it up along the quarter inch edge of the serger tape. So I just want to make sure everything is still lined up nicely. Yep pretty good and then you just sew this side down so I'm gonna go over to the machine and sew that down so I have to move my zipper foot to the other side now and don't forget to move your needle over a little bit do the same thing Pull your tape back, make sure it's going in the groove, and sew it down. And now you can zip your zipper. And everything is lined up and it's invisible. And now you just need to finish the bottom off. This is open down here. And so I like to move the tape out of the way, just kind of pull it to the side. Go back to the machine. You can leave the zipper foot in the same position that it was just in for the right side of the garment. You want to put your needle down above where the stitching stopped. It doesn't have to be on top of it, but beside it. Move your tape out of the way. Try to line up the edges and sew down. I want to backstitch 
and sew that, sew everything closed. And then when you flip it over, everything is all closed up. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. My love share is this little tool here, which is called That Purple Thang, and it is spelled T-H-A-N-G. This is a handy little tool. It helps out if you want to hold things open while you're sewing. This is a quarter inch here. So if you need a quick measurement, you can use this to measure something just quickly. It has an opening here. So if you want to thread elastic or some type of trim, you can put it through here and then slide it through a casing, for example. The other side is curved and it's pointed. So you can use this side to stick into a corner to make sure that your corners are pointing outward. And it's just a handy little tool to have. So that is the love share.